The Scarecrow of Oz. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Foreword read by Scott Sherris, Atlanta, Georgia. The Scarecrow of Oz. Dedicated to The Uplifters of Los Angeles, California, in grateful appreciation of the pleasure I have derived from association with them, and in recognition of their sincere endeavor to uplift humanity through kindness, consideration, and good fellowship. They are big men, all of them, and all with the generous hearts of little children. L. Frank Baum The Scarecrow of Oz by L. Frank Baum Twixt You and Me the army of children which besieged the post office, conquered the postmen, and delivered to me its imperious commands, insisted that Trot and Cap'n Bill be admitted to the land of Oz, where Trot could enjoy the society of Dorothy, Betsy Bobbin, and Ozma, while the one-legged sailor man might become a comrade of the Tin Woodman, the Shaggy Man, Tick-Tock, and all the other quaint people who inhabit this wonderful fairyland. It was no easy task to obey this order and land Trot and Captain Bill safely in Oz, as you will discover by reading this book. Indeed, it required the best efforts of our dear old friend, the Scarecrow, to save them from a dreadful fate on the journey. But the story leaves them happily located in Ozma's splendid palace, and Dorothy has promised to me that Button Bright and the three girls are sure to encounter, in the near future, some marvelous adventures in the land of Oz, which I hope to be permitted to relate to you in the next Oz book. Meantime, I am deeply grateful to my little readers for their continued enthusiasm over the Oz stories, as evinced in the many letters they send me, all of which are lovingly cherished. It takes more and more Oz books every year to satisfy the demands of old and new readers, and there have been formed many Oz reading societies where the Oz books owned by different members are read aloud. All this is very gratifying to me and encourages me to write more stories. When the children have had enough of them, I hope they will let me know, and then I'll try to write something different. L. Frank Baum, Royal Historian of Oz, Ozcott at Hollywood in California, 1915. End of Foreword